Welcome back to Studio 701. As a parent, I'm always looking for ways to encourage creativity. And it's especially important during this pandemic year to keep kids inspired and creative while at home. In today's Coping with COVID, we welcome Rachel, the Executive Director of the Tabi Museum of Art in Minot. She's here to tell us about the Tabi's take-home art kits. Welcome, Rachel. Hi, thank you for having me today. Thank you so much for joining us. And we wanted to ask right away, you know, what are the take home art kits? So it's something we kind of started right in the beginning of April um, when things started shutting down. Uh, we kind of tried to take what we do in our classes and make a take home version of it. So, you know, we put all the supplies together for a specific project and then directions on how to do it. And for people to come in and to take them home and then they can do them with their kids, like how we would teach them in person uh, so that there's just a safer way for kids to still have that activity and have that creative moment without being out and around uh, too many people. So what ages are these kids kind of appropriate for then? You know, it kind of depends on the kit. We have a pretty wide range. Some of them, you know, have acrylic paint in them and I would say older kids for that. Uh, but, you know, they can go as young as three years old up to as old as, you know, 10 or the 12 year olds could enjoy them depending on the kid. And how can parents um, safely get these kids, kids, excuse me, if they're trying to kind of socially distance? So for the entirety of the pandemic, we've been working on figuring out um, no contact ways for people to enjoy the tabby, um, you know, as everybody has, but we have a gift shop here and we transferred almost all of it online now and these will also be available online to look at um, they're available on our facebook page but you can also view them pretty soon on our website tabbymuseum.org and then you know people can call they can <laughs> message us online um, they can come in person if they want we are open but we do require you know masks uh, but after they let us know what they would like, we offer delivery in town. You know, I just drive it right to people's doors if they've been at their doors for them. And then we also have curbside if they want to just wait outside and give us a call, we'll bring it out to your car for you. Now, you guys, uh, these are free kits, correct? But can someone give a donation if they would like to for the kit? Right. Some of them are free. We have ones that are donated by the public. They donate money so that we can give away free ones. And then we also have paid ones for people who are able to pay and want to make that contribution to the top. Why was it important for you wow. to still offer stuff, you know, to make sure that um, kids are still being creative and making sure they have options for something to do at home? Why was that important for you? So. At the Tabi, um, our mission is to enrich lives through the visual arts. So it is constantly our job to engage our community and bring arts to our community. So, uh, you know, when we were shut down, how do you keep engaging your community like that? So that was kind of our goal was to keep um, children working with artwork, you know, creating, keep their minds going. It's kind of therapeutic for a lot of people to be able to create work with their hands. And especially, you know, right now, that's important for people. And Rachel, do you have an example of, you know, what they can create from the kit? I do. So I have an example of our most popular one. It's a dinosaur kit. <laughs> you know, kids love dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. So uh, of along with, <laughs> along with um, some different, like, dinosaur-themed, like, little toys and things like that. The main part of it is um, you get a little container like this. It has a dinosaur inside of it and then some model magic, which is non-toxic and safe for most ages. You know, my daughter tries to eat it, but she's only two, so. <laughs> <laughs> totally makes sense. We might have to get one of those for our production manager, Andrew Vary. But thank you so much, Rachel, for all the information. Tabby is open, limited hours. And again, classes are full, but watch for announcements on new classes. Thank you so much, Rachel, for all the information. This has been Coping with COVID. And to get your take-home art kit, check out tabbymuseum.org. All right, keep it here. Coming up next.